The UK urgently needs more hub airport capacity to compete globally for jobs and growth. Daily flights to new markets create 20 times more trade with them. And as an island nation, without these connections, we're losing some 14 billion pounds a year. Heathrow's unique position already benefits the whole UK. It's one of only six airports in the world serving 50 or more long-haul destinations. But Heathrow is already operating at capacity. However, our new options can deliver an extra 60% faster and cheaper than any other hub alternative and benefit the UK economy by some 100 billion pounds. Heathrow's new options will cost less because Heathrow is already here. The cost of expanding Heathrow is 14 to 18 billion, of building a new airport at least 70 to 80 billion. And new runway capacity can be added at least seven years earlier at Heathrow than with a new airport elsewhere. If Heathrow's best place to meet the nation's capacity needs, how will its development impact on the southeast? The area around Heathrow is one of the most productive and dynamic economic zones in Europe. It hosts 202 of the UK's top 300 companies and has the highest full employment rate in the UK. Heathrow already provides some one in five jobs in the local area. Investing in extra capacity here is investing directly in UK jobs and growth. Between 70 and 150,000 new jobs, we estimate. As for transport and operational infrastructure, Heathrow's is already in place or planned for the future, with 11 billion invested by us since 2003. And it's been planned to increase capacity with the minimum increase in road traffic or emissions. With Crossrail already on course to bring East London within an hour of Heathrow's worldwide connections in five years, it's the shortest cut to regeneration there as well. Of course, any increase in capacity will mean more flights. But studies show our options do not mean more noise. That's partly through quieter planes, but also through sighting the runways to raise the height of aircraft over London as they approach. Investing in Heathrow is investing in sustainable growth for the southeast. In fact, it's building on strength. But building a new airport from scratch wouldn't just need new links, but new schools, roads and services to support it, at the taxpayer's expense. Developing Heathrow makes sense at both the national and regional level. But what about the local level? Our new options are very different to those tabled 10 years ago. Each of the three alternatives, North, Northwest or Southwest, has its individual merits. And as with any development on this scale, local impacts too. But all will deliver more flights with less noise. All will ensure that compensation greater than market value is offered to anyone whose home is affected. And all bring the UK that vital extra capacity quicker, more cheaply and more efficiently than any other. The UK urgently needs better connections if we're to benefit from global growth. And nowhere is better placed to provide them than Heathrow. So let's build on strength. <laughs>